NativeScript 4.0 includes the ability to generate both icons and splash screens from a single high resolution image. Now, this is a pretty cool feature. It was one of our most requested items on our roadmap. So I want to take a minute to show you exactly how this works. Over here, I have an app that I just created called Icon Testing. And I'll go ahead and open this up. Now, if you've worked with icons and splash screens before, either in NativeScript apps or just mobile apps in general, you might know that there's a fairly confusing set of dimensions and resolutions that you have to support both for application icons and also for splash screens. Now, in NativeScript, these files are located in your app resources folder, both for Android and over here for iOS as well. And like I said, it can be painful to just generate the files that match these various conventions. For NativeScript 4.0, the first thing you're going to want to do is grab a 1024 by 1024 image of the icon that you want to use. So I have this file here with just a simple little flame icon. You also want to make sure that this icon has a solid color background, so you won't want to use a transparent color here. So this is actually a solid white color that you see. After that, all you have to do is run the new TNS resources generate command. I'll pass this icons for the first run, and then I also have to pass it a path to that icon file that I have on my desktop here. And what the CLI will do is it'll take this image as input and generate all those files that you saw earlier. So if I reopen this application, you'll see that now for my iOS icons, I have this flame icon in place, and the same is true in Android. The CLI essentially uh, slotted in the appropriate icons in the appropriate dimensions where they needed to be. The process works more or less identically for splash screens. The only difference is you pass the generate command splashes. You, you do again pass it the single 1024 by 1024 icon. Then you can also pass a background color. So I'm going to pass a background that matches the background image color of my icon file. The CLI will again take this icon in as input and generate those appropriate files to make your splash screens work, both on Android and iOS. The reason splashes requires a separate background is if we look at the some of the splash screens that this actually generated, this is actually generated in here. I think it's these files here. You can see that the CLI essentially fills in the background with that color that you provide. So you want that color to match the background color that you're using for your icon. And with that, you're actually already done. So I took this app earlier and I ran it both on my iOS simulator here and also this Android emulator. And you can see that the icon looks exactly as it should on these devices. And if I start up these apps, I'll start it on Android and iOS here as well, I automatically have a nice looking splash screen out of the box. If you're a NativeScript Sidekick user, your life is even easier. If you've used the Assets tab before, you might know that you used to have to essentially manually update or upload the appropriate files you wanted to use for your icons and splash screens. You now have this ability to essentially drop in that same 1024 by 1024 icon and generate both the icons and the splash screens that your application needs. So hopefully you'll find this new feature makes your life just a little bit easier as you develop your native script apps. Go ahead and update to NativeScript 4.0 today from NPM and let us know what you think.